Select Web App Build View Controller, and make sure you're using .NET Core and ASP.NET Core 3.1 Web Framework, and also set authentication settings to no authentication. We'll just We'll display the data on index page, that is the full page in MVC. And index.cshtml page renders on underscore layout page. Let's run the project and see how it looks like. We'll display these records in the table. Let me just remove the address line too because it is empty. Copy the columns. We will create string array here and first, we'll make the table header dynamic, and then display the data dynamically in the table body section. Now paste here. Here we go, we just created the table headers dynamically. Let's add some bootstrap classes to apply styles.
Ok so now we need to write code to fetch data from database and pass the data to view. First, we need to install the Nuja package to use SQL client library. As you can see we've installed the system.data.sql client Nuja package, but we have to install Microsoft.SQL server.pipes to parse the receiving data from SQL database. We'll save the connection string and the resources. Open SQL Server and copy the SQL Server name. Access the resources you must type the correct namespace, and here you can find namespace. Here is our connection string, also you can see the value stored inside. Type try and press the tab button twice and see magic. Now we have to create a model to store the receiving data from the database.
Now here I make it simple. Because we're just receiving the data so I create all the variables as a string. And we just need string data to display in the table. But you can parse the data into respective data type. we just forget to create variable for address line. to make a faster do copy and paste. Make sure to clear the older records to prevent duplication. Okay, here data variable is representing the address class that we created in models folder. You can access the class variable using dot operator.
Cisco, why have all the data returned by SQL query? Let's do some more styling. We don't need the CSS style right now, so remove it. Here we go. Please subscribe, like the video, share, do comment below, and let us know the feedback.